have to put my people, our people in a position to where we can get financial freedom. And I'm trying to prove to people that it don't take a lot of money. Always got a couple rules. One, do your research into the company. Two, buy low. Three, sell high. I got the kid into investing. I had my first kid at 18. Started a mutual fund for him. And then once I did that, I always had that that in the back of my head or something I wanted to get into. Starbucks, Jumia, Tesla, Disney, Nike, Fuel Cell, Bug Power. I just got into it and just wanted to just share my experience with the people. What the fuck is going on, y'all? It's your boy. Y'all good? Y'all y'all good out there? Shout out to all the subscribers you got out there in YouTube land. Shout out to everybody that hit the notification game and like button. Make sure that you guys subscribe to the Junkyard Game channel. All that, no breaks. Them boys and uh, girls over there is doing beautiful things. My man Chef is the king of the shorts. We looking out for that. Uh, in the squad cast that we just did, he admitted that he took a little... It's been a little lax days ago lately, but you know, they definitely coming back with some great content for y'all. So be looking out for that. Um, shout out to all my squad cast members and junkyard game members. That's not with me in the building on this nice little frigid November day, Friday night. Uh Brother Chef and Godmother BJ Black. Uh make sure y'all follow uh noobs and pros, by the way, on the, on the gaming tip. Uh Jesse, Brother Love, Peace. Uh, the whole gang, man, just everybody in, in, in tune with it, you know what I'm saying, that's in tune with us and, and, and a part of the movement, you know what I'm saying, but we all know what we're here for, right? I talked to y'all last week about the stocks, but now I'm going to talk to you guys about the cryptocurrency, try to mix it up. Um, this particular show, I want to talk about the trends in cryptocurrency it's not nothing nothing real heavy you know what i'm saying just something to be mindful of when you're looking at certain cryptocurrencies especially the altcoins the dogecoins the shiba emus the cardanos of the world you know what i'm saying the stellar lumens the altcoins right y'all know the altcoins not the bitcoins the litecoins the and the ethereums and you know the the, the big boys but they all tie in together. What I mean by that is when you're looking, if you're if you're looking to buy a cryptocurrency, no, no matter what it is, especially if it's an altcoin, you definitely have to pay attention to what Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all the Litecoin, all the other big boy coins out here, all the big boy cryptocurrencies, because Nine times out of ten, and trust me, I'm no financial advisor, but in the comments, let me know if I'm wrong. Nine times out of ten, and this is my people who really be studying this stuff, really looking at it. When Bitcoin and all these other giants are doing well and are skyrocketing, the altcoins do the same thing. The altcoins be doing the same thing. And when Bitcoin is struggling, hold on, let me get Okay, there we go. And when Bitcoin and Ethereum and all these other guys are having down days like they are today, then that's when the altcoins are gonna struggle. But, I mean, that's just how it is. Like right now, look, let me, let me give y'all a minute. This is Robinhood. I, I'll get y'all on Coinbase as well. But just off Robinhood alone, I'm just gonna look at the big boys because Robinhood don't really offer a lot of altcoins. That's why you gotta go to Coinbase or whatever cryptocurrency platform that you guys use to buy, sell, and do your trading. But right now, just just yesterday or the day before, Litecoin was on its way to three hundred dollars a coin. It's right now at two forty six and going down. Dogecoin twenty five cents and going down. Ethereum Classic fifty five dollars and going down. Ethereum, 4,600 and going down. Bitcoin, 63,000 and going down. Now, if you guys are smart and if you're looking to either establish a position or let's say you already established a position and you want to go shopping, 
these are the days you need to go shopping. The red days is when you need to be going shopping and, and, and getting more because obviously they're, 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 they're pretty much a steal. They're pretty much a steal and you can't really beat that. I mean, I, I regret not getting into Litecoin when I should have when it was like $87 because now it's, it's still at 240 something going down, but it's trending up to 300. So if I already got into 87 and it pumped in the right amount of money, I mean, look, we all live in it, it could have, should have, would have, and I'm pretty sure you guys got story too. But I'm just making a point here. So when you see these particular giants are having down days like this, and then you go look at the altcoins, shout out Coinbase, y'all need to pay me for the promo, not gonna lie. You will see. I'm just going to my portfolio. This is my, my cryptocurrency portfolio in Coinbase, okay? Uh, Shiba Inu, Bitcoin, Stellar Lumens, Cardano, Graph, uh, Amp, Loop Ring, Clover Financial, you know, just kind of spread out, right? Uh, Graph is down over 4%. Clover Financial is down 4%. Cardano is down over 2%. Shiba Inu is down over 4%. Why is that? Well, it's probably because the goddamn big boys is down. And this is the domino effect. This is the ripple effect. This is what happens. But when you see Bitcoin and all the other giants out here trending well, your Shiba Inus be skyrocketing. Your, your Cardano's be doing well. You know, uh, Coinbase doesn't allow you to have XRP, but XRP does well. Safe Moon. I wish they would add Safe Moon. But I mean, there's this. So many little tricks of the trade, so many trends you can little you can follow and pick up as you just observing this stuff. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like, be aware of what's going on. When you look at Bitcoin, look at your altcoins. They're doing well. When Bitcoin and all other stuff is down, your altcoins are suffering. All right. Th that doesn't mean that you panic sell. Okay, because we all know cryptocurrency is nothing like the stock market. What do I say? Because number one, cryptocurrency is 24-7, 365, seven days a week. Stocks is only Monday through Friday, during a holiday, a government holiday, and you only can do trading between 8 or 8.30 to, to 4.30. That's it. Okay? So when you're dealing with cryptocurrency, there's a lot more attention to detail that needs to be given. See? I'm giving y'all the game. All right? So with that being said, I just want to come in here and just share that with you guys. The squad cast upload will be happening. It will drop tomorrow. I'm going to get that drawn up for tonight. This particular cryptocurrency talk is going to be uploaded on Sunday. You got to stagger out. I can't give y'all too much. I can't give y'all too much. All right. We don't, we don't, we stagger them drawings out. All right. Uh, with that being said, uh, if y'all got any cryptocurrencies or any stocks that I should look at, other than the ones that I just kind of ran through real quick, let me know. Drop them in the comments. I'll definitely look at them. I'll definitely engage you guys. All of them, I engage you guys. Shout out to all the subscribers, y'all. Man, this is the reason why we do that shit, for real. This is the reason why I do it, because of y'all. Shout out to all the subscribers. Make sure that y'all share this stuff. Make sure that you're educating the people. Make sure that y'all letting people know especially those of us in the community, that you really can get money out here, that you really don't have to be risking your life. All you gotta do is just download an app and start putting money towards it. Dead ass serious. So with that being said, I love y'all. Peace to the family.